the world over, all cities, if you look at them, are going towards 24 by 7, improved water supply systems. Many people are really surprised that in India we don't even have one city with a 24 by 7. And many were even you know, surprised that some cities get an one hour of water in three days. I think this is a kind of a wake-up call to a lot of people in the water sector in India when they see what's happening around the world. And I think this event has also helped bring a lot of those people from India who are working, you know, right from the corporate, the mayors, from the boards, together. India requires uh, multiple inputs insofar as prevention of water loss is concerned. Number one is, of course, policy and strategy-wise, which involves technology as well, the kind of technology that needs to be used, which is maintenance-friendly. And in India, we have region-specific climate zones. Secondly, insofar as resource mobilization, how do we mobilize funds? How do we ensure private participation as well? Thirdly, I think it is the change in the way people look at natural resource management as a life and death question for the entire humanity. Losses in many areas that we're talking about are up at 50-60% or higher. Once losses are at that level, the interventions that you can be looking at will generally have a payback of six months or less in some cases. It's only once you're down at the 10-15% losses that you start looking at five or seven year paybacks. So it's important that the community are involved each step of the way. Water loss is very much part of the problem of managing a network. And what I found interesting is that often people get quite short-sighted about water loss, so they focus in on how you find leaks, uh, maybe how you control pressure, rather than thinking about the bigger picture. So maybe some of the problems are being uh, continued just because pipes are not being installed very well or they're not being repaired very well.